Hello and welcome to Taylor's Place Don't Starve. Well, today um, I think I want to expand my camp a bit more. So I'll have a look around the area here. See if I can find some more bushes or maybe some other cool stuff I can add or I need maybe. Um, and I need to get my sanity back up. So let's just pick a few flowers here. That's also a quick way to uh, get some sanity back. It'll be alright for now. And I don't have a shovel. So let's make one. And let's get this bush as well. Yeah, I'm not going in that swamp. And I'm not disturbing these uh, fire hounds. Oh yeah, and there was that thing that I saw last episode. Um, that looked quite good. It was around here somewhere. But it's not these rabbits, of course. Oh, I should harvest them all. All these traps. But uh, that's not what I was looking for. And uh, there it is. This is a lure plant. Or, well, right now it's still a fleshy bulb, I think. Uh, this is a plant that just spawns somewhere in the world. And um, in itself it's not doing anything really, but if I leave it here, over time it will spawn eye plants around it. And eye plants are hostile plants. So they will attack pretty much anything that comes close to them. And then uh, if it kills them, well I meant to plant this one, not drop it on the floor. So if an eye plant kills anybody or any uh, other animal that's close by and it drops anything, it will uh, pretty much eat whatever it drops and in 20 seconds it will digest it. So it's a good way to lose items and um, that's not something I want to happen. Oh, well, never mind that. I don't have the inventory space to uh, carry more stuff. <sighs> I, I keep doing that. I keep dropping these stupid bushes instead of planting them. Oh, there we go. Alright, I need some more food in here. Let's get a rabbit. Now I'll get uh, meatballs, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, meatballs will get my hunger up quite a bit. So I'll keep this uh, fleshy bulb of the lure plant in this chest for now. Um, in, in time I might be able to use it as a defense for my base here. But not right now, because if I would plant it here, then it would spawn the eye plants right in my camp. And I won't be able to uh, be there anymore. So, um, I'll leave that for a little while. At least I'll keep it. And uh, let's uh, have a look at these graves down here again. Because I didn't dig them all up. So I want to see what else uh, is uh, buried here. So that's just a little further south. Oh look, a tree guard is fighting with the pig. That's uh, pretty cool. Looks like the pig is hitting the tree guard and the tree guard is not hitting the pig, so if I just leave them long enough, eventually the tree guard will be dead. Um Oh I dug all these up already. Thought there were still a few. Well there's this one. Oh that's good. A blue gem is that. So hopefully this pig will take care of the tree guard for me. 
I like that about this game, that uh, the monsters aren't just hostile towards the player like they are in uh, other games, but they also just attack other mobs. And it's something you can use as well if you're being chased by hounds and you lead them in a group of beefaloes. Then uh, you can use the beefaloes as your defense. So that's, that's really nice mechanic. Oh, I didn't mean to dig this berry bush up. Let's put that back. Uh, plant that please. There we go. And uh, one here. Right there, a bit, a little bit fiddly there. And these crops haven't grown. Right, now is there anything I can eat? Let's just uh, get this fire going and these berries, I suppose. And why not? Also these uh, seeds. So my berries uh, grew here, so that's good. It means that uh, they are growing and I should get some more berries now in uh, the near future. I need some more pine cones as well. Oh, you always use them up so quickly. Anyway, it's uh, starting to get night here, so... Um, that gives me a chance to think about what I'll do the next day so uh, first of all I probably will need some more manure for all these new bushes I planted and uh, the one I accidentally uh, dug up and so I'll head over to the beefaloes there and I need to oh Yes, I need to find a way to get my sanity back up. Or uh, stuff like this will happen. Let's just get that fire going. Because these, uh, these hands will try and pinch my fire out. I can try to uh, scare them away like this. just keep coming and I don't have that much fuel to relight the fire if they do manage to pinch it out oh oh there we go uh, quickly ah uh, well that was um, <laughs> a bit scary just uh, in the darkness there that could have been bad. Right, well, let's get this uh, manure. Ah, there we go. Hello, beefaloes. Oh no! Oh, run away, run away. Uh, so they're obviously in mating season. Uh, they don't uh, want me here right now. Um, I'm running away, I'm running away. Calm down. Ah, well, so that's uh, off limits for uh, another day. Ah, uh, well. Oh, look, I've got a... Well, it says it's rabbit, but it looks like a, a beardling to me because uh, my sanity is so low. So if I uh, wasn't playing as Wilson now, this, this character, then... Uh, I wouldn't be growing my own beard, but with this low sanity, I would be able to uh, trap the beardlings and then use them to uh, quickly get beard hair. But anyway, I've been picking these flowers and my sanity's gone up, so the beardling has turned back into a rabbit. And with 12 flowers, I can make a garland and a garland is also a way to get sanity going back up so that's good and uh, that will slowly generate some more sanity for me over time 
Well, while I'm uh, here, I might as well follow this path in this direction. It's a way I haven't been before yet. I feel the other way, and that led me straight into a killer bee's uh, trap. Uh, so that wasn't uh, the right way to go, obviously. Although, there might still be a pig village at the end there, I couldn't get past the bees. But I haven't been this way, so there might as well be something good on this end of the path. So let's uh, find that out right now. And, oh, it's a totally normal tree over here. Well, let's chop it down because I want that wood. Need a new axe. Uh, this is a strange type of tree and it drops uh, a different kind of uh, wood. Uh, well, let's leave the twigs here. And uh, let's uh, drop this uh, pine cone here. So yeah, that drops a different kind of wood. It's called living wood. Oh! Ah, oh, that's good. Here's a touchstone. Finally, on day 14, I find my first touchstone. Ah, oh, so now if I would die, um, which I don't hope, um, then, then I would respawn right here in the pig village. Uh, right next to this pig king. So that's good. And it is quite a bit away from my uh, base camp, but it's, there's a path, so I, that means I can run a little bit faster to it. Oh, but that's good to know. So I finally did find a pig village with a pig king. So I can gather some stuff to trade with the pig king. I'm not really sure what I can trade with it though. Well actually I think... Um, well last episode I said those trinkets I found in the graves didn't serve a purpose. But if I'm not mistaken I can give those to the pig king and he will give me gold nuggets for it. So that is really good because I still haven't found a rocky biome yet. And that means I don't have really a lot of stones and uh, not a lot of gold nuggets either. So if I can trade some uh, trinkets with the pig king and get some gold nuggets from him yeah, that would be uh, good. I'll have to try that uh, sometime in the future. And of course, I can also give other stuff to the pigs. And um, they can give me manure for it. Depends on what I give them. I think if I give them uh, berries or something like that, they will give me manure. And if I give them meat, then they help me. So I can let them uh, chop down trees for me, for example. So that would be good to just uh, chop a few trees myself and then I have a lot of wood, hopefully. Alright, let's get this cooking. And let's see... I still don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of pine cones, so I'll need this grass to uh, light up the fire. Well, um, let's eat these and uh, let's get this manure. I should be able to fertilize these bushes just before night. Well, not all of them. But uh, that'll do for now. And let's eat some of this uh, red to you. And I need to replant these seeds in the farm plots. 
Yeah, there we go. So I'll let that grow now for the next few days. Um, uh, rabbit, I suppose. And don't have anything else to put in that crock pot, so that I'll have to wait as well. Uh, can't do anything else right now because it's night again. Uh, no, let's not do that. If I have to, I can use that manure to relight the fire, but the nights aren't that long in summer, so I should be able to survive. Let's put this away. I can use that blue jam, by the way, to make a fire staff, which is a cool weapon. <laughs> Which I can use uh, from a distance to freeze enemies, um, if, or not not just all enemies, even just uh, animals, rabbits and uh, birds that would normally fly away if I'd get too close. But uh, fire staff is a ranged weapon, so I can use it from a distance to uh, freeze animals and then uh, while they're frozen I can uh, just walk up to them and kill them. Right, well, I think it's time for a little more exploring. And just to the north here is an area I haven't really been yet. So I think that's a good place to go to right now. And gather some more stuff I need, like pine cones, wood, uh, berries. Uh, let's just get everything I can. Even some uh, some of these stumps here, because they will also give me one more log. And uh, I've been in this area a little bit last time to uh, get some berry bushes, but uh, it looks like a promising area for other stuff as well. Like this, all this flint here. Carrots and flowers and lots of twigs I can uh, get. And even though I've been here before, there's still bushes uh, I can dig up so lots of stuff I uh, always need more of grass let's get this so I think in the future I will certainly make one of those uh, ice staffs because I can also use it to uh, freeze uh, the enemies. If there's another hounds attack, I can uh, try to freeze the hounds before they attack me and then kill them. Although it uh, depends what type of uh, mob I use it on. Like, I'm pretty sure rabbits and birds only require one hit to be frozen. But uh, animals like beefaloes or mobs like uh, hounds require several more ice blasts to be frozen and uh, the ice staff is only a limited item can't use it uh, forever well like everything I mean I can't use this uh, shovel forever but then shovels are quite easy to make and uh, for an ice staff I need a blue gem and they are a bit more difficult to find uh, typically found in uh, graves as you have seen so that's where I found mine ah well that's uh, my shovel gone but that's all right I've got a few more bushes which I can take back with me to my base And I'm doing much better on food right now as well. Got more carrots and I've got much more berries. And I'm glad I came to this area because there's a lot of uh, 
other good stuff that I always need. Twigs and um, flint, grass. So that's good. I've restocked on uh, quite a few items again. And uh, with this garland, oh, now my sanity is slowly going back up as well. All I need is uh, to eat. But I've got a lot of food on me already. So if, if I really get uh, hungry, then I could eat some. Of course, ideally, I would just uh, put all this food in a crock pot, eat from that. Because crockpot food is just better. Uh, speaking of which, um, my hunger is uh, getting quite low. And it's starting to get dusk again. So that's a good time to find my way back to my camp. Uh, cook up some food and um, then I'll be all ready again for day 16. Uh, where do I go? But in this direction, I should just uh, run straight into my camp then. And I should um, look up some stuff about uh, bee farming actually, because honey is uh, probably also a very good food item to have. And I'm missing out on that right now, so something I'll have to look up. Can't keep living on meatballs alone. Although, you know, there's no penalty for just keep eating the same food over and over again. Although I wouldn't want to kill too much rabbits and get my naughtiness up too high and um, get the monster Krampus uh, to visit me. I think I'll build another crock pot. So I'll need uh, some more of this stone. Now let's get this fire going. Um, get my food in the crock pot. The advantage of having more than one crock pot is, uh, well, of course, that I can cook up twice as much food. Don't have to wait until uh, the crock pot's ready. But the other advantage is that food that is on the crock pot stays there and doesn't uh, turn into rot. So it's a good way to, let's eat this. It's a good way to gather up some food ready for, uh, before winter because a lot of uh, items don't uh, spawn in winter anymore pretty sure berries don't grow in winter and rabbits don't come out of their rabbit holes in winter so I will need to be prepared for that and having multiple crock pots with food already on it is one of uh, those uh, ways to be prepared. All right, let's make some more red tattoo. Okay, I've got enough cut stone for another crock pot. Um, oh, yeah, I need charcoal. Well, I can't get charcoal right now because it's uh, night time, but. I will do that um, when it's day again. Yeah, I'm doing uh, very good right now on food. So I can just uh, put these in here, free up some infantry space again. And get this. Ah, it's day and um, we're at the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, do like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.